My name is Miles McDowell and I live on the canals and the rivers of England. This is Relocated, where we tour the living situations of people who choose to live off the beaten path. Welcome to my narrowboat. I'm a content creator and filmmaker and I'm currently based on the Grand Union Canal and I'm heading towards the River Thames. It's been a lifelong dream of mine. Before owning a narrowboat, my wife and I were renting in London. Uh, it started to become clear to us that we weren't really saving any money. We had to take the plunge to own something, to own something that was ours. It made perfect sense to me to downsize our possessions and move onto uh, a narrowboat. And we've never looked back. We've been living on this narrowboat now about eight or nine years, seeing all of the waterways as they're meant to be seen from a boat. We wanted to make sure that it have a solid fuel stove for the winter times. It's one of the most efficient ways of heating a boat. Bathroom, a nice kitchen, and we also, most importantly, wanted it to be fully equipped inside so that we could move right on it without any having to make any alterations or, or DIY or things like that. The first time we stepped onto this boat, we knew it was the one. Less than a week from putting down the deposit to moving on. It was a very, very good process to do because it just makes you focus on the things that you need in your life. And you don't necessarily need that many things. That was when our adventure on a narrowboat started. Well, as soon as you own a narrowboat, you have to license it and you have to insure it. That comes in at about a thousand pounds annually. Other costs like fuel, we filled our narrowboat up recently having traveled for a year without putting a drop in the tank at all. Uh, and that came out at about a hundred pounds. Our biggest expense so far has been the setup to charge the batteries. It costs over a thousand pounds for the two solar panels that I have. I also have a wind turbine as well. I also have an inverter to take power out of the batteries and turn it into mains electric. Not paying rent for the eight years we've been living on the boat, we've been able to save that money and pay off debts that we ordinarily wouldn't have been able to. A lifelong dream to just be free and to be debt free and to be happy. Lots of people have said to me, you know, uh, uh, a life is not complete without a few regrets. But I think regrets really should only be reserved for the things you didn't do, not the things you did. It was the perfect boat and the perfect time. If we feel that we've been in an area too long, or if we feel like we need a change of scenery, we just move the boat. If you are thinking about uh, living on a boat or doing anything that is alternative, I would say just do it. Just jump. Even if you feel that you're not ready, by doing, you learn a lot. Thank you for, for watching. Uh, if you want uh, any more information about Bustle, it's down uh, below. Thank you.